This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to prepare you for writing the Excel 2016 core exam by walking you through the practice tasks for Objective 3.3, Filter and Sort Tables. Let's get started. With our bonuses worksheet open in our 3.3 workbook, the first thing we need to do is filter so that we display only bonuses that were less than $2,500. So we can do that by selecting the down arrow on the right hand side of bonus. We're going to go into number filters and drag down to less than. With this dis the dialog box that pops up, we want to show rows where the bonus is less than and we're going to choose $2,500. Now there are other, other options here. So it could be less than, uh, less than or equal to. Uh, so in the exam, make sure that if, if it says less than, that you choose less than and not less than or equal to. Or conversely, if they say less than or equal to, that you've selected the proper one here. So we've entered 2,500 as our number. We'll click OK. And now what you'll see is uh, the salespeople who have bonuses below that number. Everything else is hidden. So it's not deleted, and that's an important clarification for later on in this video. Um, you'll notice here between four and six, you'll see uh, a, a, a compressed row, I guess you could call it, uh, to indicate that there is data there. It's just been hidden so that you don't see it. Um, we can get rid of uh, this filter, and all of the data that we had there originally is still in existence. All right. Next, we want to go to our products worksheet. And I'm going to hit uh, control page down to get to products. I've had to do that twice. And now we're going to do a custom sort uh, by multiple criteria. So I'll show you a couple ways that we can do it. Uh, the first is through with any cell in our table selected. We can go into our ribbon. We can go into sort and filter and then into custom sort. Once right here, we have a dialog box where we can add as many levels of filters or sorts as we would desire. So the first thing that we've been instructed to do is to sort the data in ascending order by category. So we're going to sort by category, and we are going to sort um, on cell values, which is fine. We don't want to sort on their color, their font, or anything like that, just on the cell values. And we are going to go ascending, so from A to Z. Now what we would need to do is add a level. So now what it's going to do is sort by category and then within category we want it by unit price. So again we'll go down to unit price and we want it ascending so that's smallest to largest. We want it on cell values and not on color or any of our any other formatting issues. So when we click OK and we look at our table so the first thing is the alphabetical order for category. So let's take a look here. We've got fertilizers at the top. As we scroll down, we go through pest control, soils, all the way down to tools. So that does appear to be in alphabetical order. After it's done, and you'll notice um, on the icon here is it's changed from just a little down arrow to a down arrow with this tall up arrow. And that's showing that it's sorting uh, in ascending order on this particular category. Uh, next is after fertilizer. So within fertilizers, we should be sorted by unit price in ascending order. And we can just confirm that by seeing 395 as our lowest unit price. And if we go to the end of fertilizers, uh, 32 is our highest. Now, if we only wanted to see fertilizers um, and it's sorted now, what we can do is with these tick boxes here, we can just tick fertilizers and now all of the other options are, are hidden. So it doesn't organize them. So if I was to, to delete this filter, and I can do that by hitting clear. So now all of our filters are gone. And if I wanted to see just the tools, or um, what I would do is I click select all to remove all of the categories. And then I just click the category that I'm interested in. I'm gonna click okay. And now it only is showing me tools. Uh, however, it isn't necessarily in any particular order. It's whatever order it was in previously. So we do lose that ability. Now, we haven't lost that data. Again, it's still there. Um, and you can see that, that compressed row there to indicate that there's data present there that we don't see. The other thing is there is an indicator, this little funnel, which shows that we are filtering based on this category. And we can select clear 
and go back to our entire uh, amount of data. So with our next step, we now need to do a different sort, and this time we're going to do in descending order by category, and within each category we want it alphabetically by product name. So initially we use the ribbon. This time I'm just going to go directly into this. I'm going to go into my sort, and we're going to go by a custom sort. All right, so now we're going to uh, sort by category again, by cell values, but this time we're going to go by descending order, so Z through A. I'm going to add a level. So after we've sorted by category, we want to go by product name this time. So product name, and uh, in this case, alphabetically, so we're going to go A through Z. So we click OK. So now we have tools at the top. And then within tools, it's increasing in alphabetical order. So none of our data has been hidden. None of it has been removed. It just is organized in a particular manner for us. Last, what we need to do is to remove duplicates. And in this case, we want to uh, remove duplicates so that there's only one entry for each supplier. Now, be cautious when you do this. Uh, because there is actual data loss when you go through this step. So make sure you either have a backup or that what you're working on, you're, you really want to be sure you want to get rid of the different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this category here of uh, and select this column of supplier. Once we've done that, we're going to go into the design in our contextual menu on the ribbon. And then we're going to select remove duplicates. Once we've done that, a dialog box comes up and says, hey, which category or which column, excuse me, do you want us to check for duplicates? And if you have more than one of these selected, it's going to make sure that there's duplicates in each of them before it deletes them. So right now, if I was to click OK, there wouldn't be anything found because there's no row that has the same values with any other row. So they all are unique rows. But what we want to do is just do the supplier row. So I'm going to uncheck everything except for supplier. I'm also confirming that yes, my data does have headers. And when I click OK, it says it found 102 duplicates of which only seven unique values remain. So this is now all that's left of my table. You'll notice on the left hand side here that there aren't any compressed rows. Uh, so that's an indication that the data that was in those rows previously is now gone. Uh, and short of undoing, I don't have any way of retrieving it. That's all the videos for chapter three of the Excel core study guide. Thanks for watching. I look forward to working with you through section four.